Good morning, how are you? Or afternoon, you might be doing this later. Um, we're doing uh, upper body today, okay? So um, we're doing this in intervals of 45 seconds and 45 seconds. I don't want you to be rushing through it or trying to get any number of reps out. Um, it's high volume and um, uh, you're just gonna go at your own pace. You're gonna make your transition smooth. Uh, there's no need to get uh, wound up about the workup, okay? You just change from one to the other. I'll explain as we go through um, a, a dead stop uh, press. You stop at the bottom for about two seconds, and then you're going to flip over, stand up, and do your rows, and then back onto your back for regular presses, and then the last one is reverse grip row, so we're just going to turn our hands. So two exercises in this first section. Then we're gonna take 45 seconds and we're gonna get um, the lighter weights out for side laterals, okay? So let's just go through this full workout, all of them this week, right? And then um, you'll get the, the flow and it'll be easier next time. You can pour it on a little bit. You'll know what weights to use, all right? Good morning. Okay, so timer for 45 seconds. It's gonna be intense. Um, I just need to do this, double check that I'm recording, and we're, I'm going to go on the floor. You can still use your bench. I just felt like I'd like to whip back and forth without that in the way. Hang on here. Why isn't that doing that? There we go. Okay, so we are on, we are live, and we have our timer. Go, 45 seconds, dead stop, press. Whew. Holding down here for two seconds and press. Six seconds, safely out, and change to your rows, bent over row, 45 seconds. It's going to take a full workout to see um, what weights you should be using. I would err on the side of caution, go a little lighter, watch your back, and watch your transitions. Good. This one is a regular press, so there's no uh, rest, all right? And we're only going through this twice, so you'll see that will be enough. And back up. This one is reverse grip row. Pull through your upper back, right? Core strong and tall. Good. Back up to the top. 
dead stop bench press. It almost feels like I could use more weight, but I know the workout ahead, it's just gonna progress in intensity. So um, I'm gonna reserve judgment right now and see how I feel at the end of the workout. And maybe next time, come to um, grab some heavier weights. Could we actually even have two sets of weights here just to be prepared? So this is your dumbbell row. Starting to get heavy now. <laughs> Good stuff. And back to your regular tempo. That's one up, one down, no rest. Feels like I'm getting like 12 to 15 reps out of each. So that's pretty much normal for us. Whoops, when we're doing our higher rep sets. Reverse grip, and this is our last time through this one. We'll take 45 seconds and change our weights and go into the side laterals. stuff 45 seconds um, we're going slow tempo lateral raises say two and two and then we're gonna up tempo it all right so that will be challenging because we're gonna go through it twice I got two sets of weights ready for myself uh, just to see if I poop out of one Okay, 15 seconds, lateral raise, tall posture, right? Up, up, down, down, good. And four seconds, here we go. Should be looking at 10 to 12 reps here, but it, we're not counting. We're, we're concentrating on good form. Up, up, down, down, nice and smooth. And then we're going to go to up tempo, um, single counts, okay? I'm just going to go lighter because 45 seconds is a long time.
Yeah, I got 26 out of that. Nice and easy for your transition because we're going back to the same movement. Small muscle group is going to feel a lot more challenging because uh, just a little guy doing all the work. Two counts up and down. And up tempo. You might be using the same weights. I don't know. Um, it's individual. Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> 20 seconds to go, let's go. And that's that, good. Keep those, because we're coming back to front laterals and rear delt flies. We're back on the floor for chest and back. Um, hex press, you're gonna press those two weights together and push. And then you're gonna do a paused pullover, which you hold it up here and pull. Um, one dumbbell up tempo presses, good. And then a pullover with no pause, simple, right? Get yourself ready. Oh. Alrighty, so far so good, you guys. It's a nice workout, you'll like it. We're gonna do upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body for this cycle. And hex press, pressing those weights together. Good, paused, pull over. So that means you're gonna hold it up overhead for a couple seconds and lift. One dumbbell, up tempo, press. And a no pause pullover.
45 seconds. Starting from the top is the hex press. Watch those weights. <laughs> if you need to get up and rock and roll it up to a safe position, press the weights together and down up. And here we go for pullover with a pause. Power it back up. Right out of that pause, explosive strength. One dumbbell press up tempo. Good. And then a no pause pullover. My hands are getting tired. <laughs> That's good. Rock and roll. We're on push-ups and renegade rows next. I think you might need a little lighter for renegade rows, but not next, the one after. So, front raise, slow, and then up tempo. Okay, so the same as the laterals. And 20 seconds to go. Um, yeah, our renegade row, you're in a push-up position and you're pulling, so that's a back exercise. Um, it's going to be challenging, but core is involved, um, uh, upper back. Uh, it's a full body workout today, pretty much, except for the legs, which we'll meet tomorrow. We'll meet our legs. Whoa, 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 everybody. Slow tempo. About two counts up, two counts down, no rest on top. Remember to keep those knees bent or staggered stance. You want to protect your low back. Keeping the same weights, you're going to up tempo next, or you're going to hit some lighter weights. I got to go pick mine up. <laughs> they flew. They flew. I don't know where the other one flew to, for goodness sakes. I've lost it. There it is. This one is single, singles.
10 seconds. We're going back to the slow tempo. Up, up, down, down. Ooh. I think I'm gonna keep these weights just for this time. We're already pre-exhausted from everything we've done before. These shoulders are, are getting spent. <laughs> Two counts. Last round coming up. Whoa, up tempo, front raise. Twenty seconds to go. Whoa, little rest. Okay, here's our rest. Getting ready for slow push up. Modified is fine. All right, we're working up a storm here. So um, today might not be the day to go for max reps or PRs or um, intense positions. It's a discovery week, okay? Check out how you feel after this workout. Adjust the weights for next time. Um, your body will, uh, you know, really benefit even from a slower day like this because it's all new and it wants to um, it has to adapt to the new um, stimulus. So never fear about getting a good workout. Um, slow push up. Four seconds. Now that renegade row, you could put your feet out wide and pull, all right? Or you could even stay down here and pause and down, pause and down. So this is a paused renegade. Again, you could be up in a good plank position, which I'd like you to shoot for. And hold it up, pause, good. Now this is up tempo push ups, so you're just going one count down, one up. As soon as you begin to fatigue, push in a few more reps and then change position, maybe come a little closer, all right? Finish up the whole 45 seconds. Five seconds to go. Your renegade row is no pause, all right? Choose your position, full out. You could start full out. As 
you fatigue, take you to a, a couple more good reps. And then if you need to, all right, got a lot of leeway here. I mean, you can use lighter weights, you can use heavier weights, you can use full out positions, you can use modified positions. You can rest if you need to rest, all right? This first week, oh, there. And then we go back to our slow push-up. Good. Ten seconds. Coming into some real fatigue here, so you're going to be safe while you're doing your renegades. Um, watch those wrists, eh? I know somebody out there has wrists, so you have to make your modifications. Pause. Pause. Feel that core. Try and keep your core stable. You're not twisting up, okay? Good. Regular push up. Last time through, not bad. Twenty seconds. Feel that in your arms too, eh? Biceps and triceps working while we're doing these other major muscle groups. So, really, renegade row, no pause. This is it. We got this. Low rear delt fly, I'm going to stand up, and then regular tempo, and we're done. Beautiful workout. There, and there, we got 30 seconds to rest, clean up the gym, and get out, and get this day started. Alrighty, tall posture, right? Break at the hip, and it's a winged arm, not bent, so you're uh, extend at the elbows. Ready? Two counts up, two counts down, so it's a slow. Low back is working, stabilize, right? We got our core in there, we got our low back, we got our shoulders, back and chest. All right, beautiful. And then tomorrow or the next day, you'll do lower body. All the time, paying attention to your response, checking in, observing yourself the next day. 
Here is, I gotta straighten up a bit. Um, up tempo. seconds to go. You might take a little extra rest. That low back is um, hmm. working hard. So make sure you're paying attention to that as well. Last set. Amen. Slow rear delt fly. Straighten up, check out that back, okay? In between these sets, it's probably best to take an extra 10 seconds or so. Check out your back, come down, and finish up with your single count. Wow. It's a sneaky one. I start feeling things now. And if you use heavier weights in subsequent workouts, you're going to really feel a difference as well. Five seconds. And done, done. I am just going to take it to a low back swivel here and just double check, make sure everything is in place and stretched. Alrighty, that is our first upper body um, workout. And I liked it, I hope you did too. <laughs> If not too bad, we got to do it. This is what we do. Um, yeah, I'm not unhappy with that. You guys have a fantastic day. And I will uh, see you at our next workout. Okay? Awesome.